Suppose you're given a graph and you're asked to find an equation. The first thing I would ask is what kind of a graph do you have? In this case, it's clear to see that it's either going to be sine or cosine. So then the question is, is it sine or cosine? So based on the fact that we have an x-intercept at the origin, that tells me that this is going to be a sine function. So we have y equals a sine vx. The a is going to be determined by the amplitude, so looking at the highest spot on this curve, which is 6, this means that a is 6. The next thing I need to figure out is what is the b. So right now we have 6 sine vx. Now b is determined by the period. So period is found by taking the original period of, in this case, sine, which is 2 pi, divided by b. So I need to find the period of this curve. So, so far I have two of the five major points marked out, so let me continue and find the third one, the fourth one, and the fifth one. So this is one cycle of our function. So this period is 7. So that means that 2 pi over b is equal to 7, so let me figure out what b is by solving. So 2 pi is equal to 7 times b, so b is 2 pi over 7. Take that value back into our y equals equation, so y is equal to 6 sine 2 pi over 7 x. Let's look at another one. Notice this time that at 0 we start with a max. So this tells me this is going to be a cosine curve. So y is equal to a cosine vx. The a is determined by the amplitude, which is 3 fourths. The b will be determined by the period. So let me mark out the five major points. We have the max, then we have an x-intercept, then a min, x-intercept, and then ending at the max. This is going to be one cycle. So after that it starts repeating, so the period is 2. So again, to figure out the b, I'm going to take 2 pi divided by b, which is the new period, which is 2. So then 2 pi equals 2b, so pi is b. So plugging that into our equation, y is equal to 3 fourths cosine pi x.